As Prime Minister of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Government of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Parliament of Australia, I am sorry. And I offer you this apology without qualification. We apologise for the hurt, the pain and suffering we the Parliament have caused you by the laws that previous Parliaments have enacted. We apologise for the indignity, the degradation and the humiliation these laws embody. We offer this apology to the mothers, the fathers, the brothers, the sisters, the families and the communities whose lives were ripped apart by the actions of successive governments under successive parliaments. It's a big thing for the Aboriginal people. And Aboriginal people have been waiting 230 years for it. I think it's an acknowledgement, it's a step forward, but a very tiny step. It's like the water on the surface of a sheet of ice. There's much more below, there's much more that isn't being spoken about or not being seen. And some of us believe it's just a token gesture in an Armani suit and a free lunch. I found that I did feel quite moved by some of the, by the, the statement that the Prime Minister gave. Um, and I found that I got a bit more emotionally involved than, than what I previously thought I would have been. Well, for me, I think it was a really big step for Australia. Um, I'd watched John Howard refuse to acknowledge the stolen generations and refuse to apologise on behalf of Australia. So, um, I mean, that, that caused a lot of animosity amongst Aboriginal people, and certainly I felt that way. I really don't think it changes much. I think saying sorry is one thing, but doing something about it is another. Of course, it was a severe, severe adverse impact on the stolen generation of the Aboriginal children, but then it's, it's happened to other parts of the community. I'm thinking of uh, people taken from the UK to Brit from Britain to, uh, to Australia. The equivalent was thrust upon them. But I don't believe there's ever been an apology in that direction. I don't think it's a great step for Australia or a really terrible step for Australia. I don't think it affects the vast majority of people, but I can see that it, uh, it would uh, be good for uh, a small percentage of the population that would affect them. It should have been a lot earlier than it happened, like, because it's almost irrelevant now in some ways, but yeah, either way, I guess it's. It's only a good thing. Um, Kevin Rudd has made the right decision and um, hopefully what it will mean is that we can now um, come together as two cultures and um, we can uh, make a step forward towards um, like harmony. Some days you jam out, some days you don't. Aboriginal people um, around where I was studying at that time and also on the news and I could see that they were quite uh, visibly emotional so from that I just gleaned that they thought it was something of substance, it wasn't a token gesture and um, that it really did mean something to them. And I think if nothing else at least, um, at least the apology has brought Aboriginal people back into the, into the limelight. I thought it was well and truly overdue, it was well said. Um, yeah, what we did to the Aboriginals was atrocious and it was about time we apologised for it. The work really, I assume now, starts now with the education and the health and the housing and that won't be done in two minutes, it's going to take a while. Well, I don't think we should have said sorry. I think we said, Keating said sorry years and years ago and we've kept saying sorry. We've said it now, we've, we've said it in previous governments. I don't actually think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. I think what the Aboriginal people are looking for is compensation. So saying sorry is pretty useless. I think they want the money. So really it's a question of what are they actually going to do for Aboriginal people. Um, it's a bit unfortunate that once we finally got the apology, we 
which was absolutely outstanding in the history of Australia, it takes us straight to the next question, what is going to happen in terms of all of the problems that Aboriginal people suffer. But he's got to realise though, when he says the word sorry, compensation will follow. He said, oh, I'm willing to apologise, but not willing to compensate. Well, if he's not willing to compensate, the word sorry is meaningless. If you're going to say sorry, say it and actually mean it. Some days are stone.